Hi and welcome to my channel. It's nice to see you again. My name is Matthias and today I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to do multicam editing in the current version of Final Cut Pro. So one of my clients asked me to film her presentation that she was giving at a local online marketing show here in Zurich. Since this was meant to be like a 45 minute presentation, we've decided on going with a two camera setup um, with a wide angle shot and a mid shot. So that way we could then in post just switch in between the two angles and make it look a little more interesting um, watching the whole presentation online. So in this video today, I want to show you how easily it is with Final Cut Pro to sync two cameras in post-production using the audio track and how easy it is to edit multi-cam projects using Final Cut Pro. So let's jump over to the computer and have a look at this. So after we've imported our footage, we go to File, New, project and the first thing we want to do is create a new project with whatever parameters you're using for your normal projects. Next we're going to select all clips that should be integrated in the new multi-clip. Right click and we choose new multi-clip. We name the new multi-clip and it's important that you tick on the use audio for synchronization. That way it will synchronize your clips based on the audio that you have on all of the clips. Now we just need to wait for a little while until it has combined all those clips together. And once this is done, we will find a new clip with this symbol on there which is now our multi-clip. Now the new multi-clip, we can drag that into our timeline by either just dragging it down or using command E to drop it down in the timeline. And to make sure that we see the two angles that we've got, the two cameras, we go to view and show angles. Now, if your computer is not the fastest, I also recommend to transcode your media into proxy files. That way it will be much easier for you later on to work with that media. Now, the way you do this is by right clicking on the media you want to transcode and go to media transcode and select the proxy medias. Click OK and just wait for the computer to render out your proxy media. Now after the proxy media has rendered out, we'll go to our next step and we can see in the preview window that we've got the two cameras there with three icons on top where you can decide which um, clip should be responsible for the video and audio, which one should be only for the video and which one should be responsible for the audio if that's the case. Now, we want to use the first one, the wide angle shot here as our main shot, which will also be used as the audio clip because that's where I've got the best audio on. So now we can go down to the timeline and we can actually start going through the video. And as we go through the video, we can choose on the selection of the two screens where to make cuts to go from one perspective to another one by simply just clicking onto the appropriate screen. And we keep doing this for the rest of the video. After we've edited and set all the cuts throughout the video, we can then double click on it and go into the separate clips that are included in this multi-clip. And now what we can do here, we can start adjusting the colors, do a basic color correction. Um, we could also apply a LUT if we wanted to. 
and what's going to happen now is that it's going to be applied on the entire video so regardless of the cuts that we made previously um, it will use those same changes for the entire clip now we can obviously also crop in on some of the clips if we've got enough resolution there to make the angles even more different to what they would normally be and same thing here it will apply to the entire clip no matter how we set the cuts previously and the rest of the editing process works as normal if you now want to put maybe a logo in there some titles some credentials at the end of the video you can do that as you would normally in a final cut timeline and now when we play the video back we will see that it will cut in between the two camera perspectives as we defined previously and you can have a look through the entire video see if the cuts are set at the right spot if they're not you can as normal move them a little bit forward or backwards and to finish it off you can as normal export your project or send it to compressor to get it rendered out as a complete video file and that was it for today guys thank you very much for watching I hope this video was helpful to you and you got something out of it. If that's the case, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this in the future. If you do have any specific questions on multicam editing, please put them down in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you as quickly as possible. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.